Now we will see the conversion of orthographic projection into isometric for this diagram. Here, front view, front view and top view are given. Okay. First observe the front and the top views. In the top view, very clearly we can observe a rectangular block we can see and the same length, the whatever be the length obtained in the top view, the same length in the front view, okay? And it is having some thickness, okay? That means a rectangular block at the bottom and this portion, okay, this portion is extended in the uh, front view, okay? That means an extended portion here. Next one, here it is a slot, okay? That we can see um, the front and the top views, okay? Now we will start the respective isometric view, right? Now, draw a horizontal line. Draw a horizontal line. Draw 30 degrees lines either sides. 30 degrees. And 30 degrees lines either sides. First draw the rectangular block. And this one is a continuous line and it is having 50. Therefore, here to here 50, I can place here and draw 12 mm, right? And this is 50. Parallel line to right side, left side axis. Next, this is 75. Okay, this is 75. We draw the 75 and divide it into three parts. 25, 25, and draw the vertical lines. Right. Now you can complete the respect to rectangle. Okay, you completed like this. After that, this slot, you can slot, this is 12, parallel line to this, 12. And here it is, 12. Okay, after that, draw parallel line. Right, and this parallel line. Okay, now, Okay, the bottom rectangular block that is finished, okay? And here, this also we need to draw parallel to the vertical line and this is parallel, parallel, right? And uh, this edge also visible parallel to this, right? Okay, first basement you can draw, draw here, 25, okay? and parallel to the left side, right side axis, you can draw. This is 20, okay. Uh, total is uh, here 75. Up to 20 first you can draw. Right. And draw the parallel line. And the height here to here 25. Parallel line. And this is height 25. Parallel line. Right, next one is uh, 25, and this is uh, 20, this length equal to 20, 
Okay. Now, from here, at a distance of 20, you can draw a parallel line. Now, all the parameters which are given in the front and top view, those are considered and figure completed. Now, you need to darken the required one, okay? Um, <clears throat> this is visible, this one is visible, and this one is visible here, right? And visible. Now this is the slot na, up to this only, after that this one. This line visible, right? This one, line visible, and this one visible, and this one visible, okay? Now, okay, and this line also we need to darken. Now give the dimensioning, okay? <clears throat> Here, right, this one is 25, next one, this, this length, but this is 25, And this thickness, 12. 12. Okay. We will observe the respect to front view and the top views okay what is the uh, front view okay this well is this one the front view this is visible in the front view okay this is visible directly and this one is visible in the front view. Right, this one is visible in the front view. Right, and this is visible. In the front view. Okay, anything else? Okay, these are only visible. See, this one, this one, this one, this one. Okay, these are obtained in the front view. Now, if you go for the top view, in the top view, this is visible. This face visible, right? And uh, this slanted surface that is also visible like a rectangle. This one is visible. Right? Next, 
this portion it is visible that there is an the this one it is uh, we can see in the top view student did not draw this in on the drawing sheet actually the student need to draw either orthographic projection or isometric projection for the understanding one suppose if you want to draw uh, convert this isometric projection into orthographic what are the faces are visible that only i showed in this figure okay after that you can draw this figure right